So I've got a question here. How do you explain Vinnie Tortellini then? And what about uh, Gren Beanfield? They both lean towards low carb, moderate, high fat, and are both in amazing shape and endurance athletes. Amazing shape, hey? Amazing athletes. Well, now nothing personal against Vinnie Tortellini or uh, Gren Beanfield. Just share my comments and criticisms. These guys both are in the... Uh, I'm not sure what you could call those guys. Um, Vinny Tortellini calls himself the America's angriest trainer. I'd call him America's dumbest trainer. The Greenfield guy, Ben, claims to be an elite triathlete, <laughs> yet he's not even on Strava. He doesn't even post any of his race results, but he's an elite triathlete pro. Pro card. <laughs> He'd be lucky to bust a, a four-hour marathon. You know, lucky. But he's a guru in triathlon all of a sudden because he he promotes a low-carb diet. Anyway, so again, nothing personal. Just share my comments and criticisms. People ask my opinion. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a few minutes of a Rich Roll podcast. Rich Roll, great guy, vegan athlete, hardcore athlete. Now, if you put Rich Roll on the same road as Vinny Tortellini and Gren Beanfield, and you told him 200 miles, who's going to be first place? I'm going to put all my money on Rich Roll, and Tortellini and Beanfield are going to be all like in ketosis, sort of zigging zagging down the highway, crashing into each other. Like, oh, so someone put a banana on the wheel. You know what I mean? Rich Roll, real athlete, Tortellini and Beanfield, pff, nothing, nothing. Anyway, here's a few minutes of this podcast, and I'll critique it when, I'm, when it's finished. Listen carefully how Tortellini stutters a lot. I don't know if he's constipated or what, but he's just... Uh, 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 uh. Get it out, Tortellini. Get it out. All right. Well, we have uh, Paul here. I can take this question. Can I take this question? Yeah, go All right, Paul yeah, wants to it. know... Hey, Paul, uh, do you think carbs make you fat? If yes, then what are your thoughts on Durian Rider Harley, a guy on YouTube who eats in excess of 700 grams of carbs per day? By carbs, I also mean whole, whole plant food source is not junk. Harley uh, is a guy on, on uh, YouTube and on Facebook who goes by Durian Rider. And um, he's a very, I've, I've talked about him on the podcast. Many of you might've seen his, his YouTube videos. The guy puts out videos like, I don't know, every other day or something like that. He's got tons of videos, he's very outspoken. He's very controversial. Uh, the guy like just won the, the Strava base mile challenge by riding some ungodly uh, number of kilometers in the month of January. He wins all sorts of running races from 5K up to, you know, half marathon. Um, so he is able to do this very, very well. And I also know um, there was a guy who did Epic Five this past year uh, who essentially did the whole thing on like bananas and coconut water, from, from what I understand. So there are people and, and also athletes who are doing very well with this. You know, um... It's interesting because uh, I've seen that idiot and I've seen his videos and, uh, you, you know, to, to suggest that anyone should eat the number of bananas he eats is, uh, is just absolutely ludicrous. Um, uh, and also, uh, on, on top of that, uh, he's a great athlete. So, you know, yeah, is he getting away with it? Sure. And you're not going to be like this idiot in Australia or his girlfriend eating uh, 700 grams that that's as ludicrous as, as the guy um, earlier who was eating 81% fat. He's in the opposite direction. It, you know, I think you're not going to, I mean, any, that's crazy for anyone to eat 700 grams of carbohydrates a day and th think that they're going to get away with being healthy. Of course, you're going to get fat. Is that guy not fat? Yeah, he's not fat because, yeah, genetically, somehow his body can handle that. But most people's bodies won't handle that. Yeah, um, honestly, like when it comes to how many carbohydrates that you eat, I really don't give a shit about your body composition or about how how fat or unfat you are. What it comes down to is the same reason that I personally quit eating the whole 55 to 65 percent typical endurance athlete diet. I can go fast. I can go nine and a half hours in Ironman on a high carb diet and feel great. But what you don't see is the nerve inflammation, the blood vessel inflammation, the lack of DHA in brain tissue, the fact 
that folks who are following high carb, low fat diets tend to have higher levels of depression than people following it like a, like a standard American diet. Durian Ryder isn't even that fast, in my opinion. He has like a 130 half marathon, which, which I personally don't think is, is smoking. Um, it, basically, what we're talking about is the whole health versus performance trade-off. The whole idea that this high carbohydrate approach causes inflammation that 20 years down the road affects your joints, affects your brain, affects your, your glucose levels and your glucose sensitivity, affects your, your blood vessels and your nerves. Um, you know, what it comes down to is and how your brains is, is going to be in terms of the amount of fatty acids that it has in it. Hang on, did I just hear what Ben, just rewind that, rewind that, rewind that. And how your brains is, is going to be in terms of the amount of fatty acids that it has in it. <laughs> he said, how your brains is going to, your brains is going to be and how many are your fatty acids is in it. It sounds like Ben, your your brain's already on the on the slip, brother. How your brains is brain is not brains is. Where do I start with these jokers? Where do I start? And again, nothing personal. Just share my comments and criticisms. So I did a bit of notes. I listened to a few more of their interviews and stuff like that. And um, so we've got Ben Beanfield says the best fuel for stamina is coconut oil, but he, then he admits my best times as a triathlete for nine and a half hour Ironman was on a high carbohydrate diet. But then he contradicts and says, the best fuel for stamina is coconut oil. Now, Vinny Tortellini says, the best fuel for stamina is putting olive oil in your water bottle. So you get your water bottle and you fill it full of olive oil. Neither athletes are fast. Vinny, had, Vinny didn't even finish the uh, Furnace 508, whatever it's called. Didn't even finish it. It's, just, it's not hard. You just have to you know, and you can go at snail's pace. You just have to get there. If you couldn't do it, didn't have the stamina. So claims to be ultra endurance athlete, can't even complete fun rides. Both admit to running on caffeine, strong coffees many times a day. Duh, because when you're eating low carb, you need your stimulants, you need your drugs to get through the day. And uh, here's a, you know, I make sort of light of this and stuff, but the sad point is Vinny Tortellini, he had cancer recently. He's just come over cancer. So Vinny critiques my diet and says, oh, it's too much sugar bad for your liver, but I'll put up my blood tests online on my liver enzymes, ALT, AST, all those things as requested. These guys don't. And the sad fact is that Vinny just come out of cancer therapy. So if you're watching Vinny, mate, isn't that a sign that maybe you're on the wrong track with your diet and lifestyle? Just maybe. I mean, I'm a big proponent of diet in terms of cancer prevention, reversal, things like that. And I know guys like Dr. Neil Bernard and... Dr. Esselstein, clinical nutrition uh, doctors, etc., experts in their field will agree that diet plays a big role in cancer. Now, you claim you're not a fruitarian, but you get cancer, and then you say that fruitarians get cancer, but you've never been a fruitarian in your life, but you got cancer. Obviously, your diet, Vinny, doesn't work, and the doctors agree. The science agrees with that. The animal protein, animal product diet is definitely bad for our immune system. Ben Beanfield sells fat blasters, EFAs. He says a vegan won't get enough EFAs, but he sells the EFA fatty acids on his website, a little supplement seller. Ben Beanfield is a little snake oil seller. Bad boy Benny. Sells hormone balances, stimulants, like is it, yeah, more little pills to keep going and going. Because when you're on low carb, you need some pet powder to keep going. So Benny sells all that stuff. He sells they help with curbing his own cravings. You get cravings, Benny? I don't get cravings, man. I get cravings for nourishment and I eat. I don't have to starve myself. I'm leaner than you, by the way. I'm faster than you, by the way, as well. And I'm not setting records on caffeine. Ben talks about MPX100, which contains a proprietary blend, which means full of shit. Proprietary blend is a legal loophole supplement companies use so they have to non-disclose the actual ingredients to the consumer. They can say, well, it's our secret herbs and spices, our proprietary blend so we don't have to show you what's actually in there which means it's just full of crap so ben he says fruit's bad but buy mpx 100 whatever the fuck that is um vinnie says admits he does regular fasting to keep his weight down i don't have to fast i don't have to calorie restrict i eat all the fuck i want man I don't have to carry a shit ever. I'm leaner than both you guys on less training. I'm faster than you guys on less training. Sure, Vinny's a bit older than me, 
But Ben, Ben Simula, I just smoke Ben any day of the week, man. You're just like, what's your watch per kilo for 10 minutes on 5.88? What are you, brah? You're not even on Strava. Do you even ride, brah? Do you even run, brah? <laughs> you curious? I'm just going to waste my time, these jokers. Ben does the same, does a lot of intermittent fasting and starvation to keep his weight down. Both recommend ketosis for high performance. They say bonking is a myth and caused by carbohydrate intake. The best thing to eat to avoid bonking is drinking oil or stuffing some bacon rashes in your cycling jersey. Then Torlini says ketosis for too long is bad because it can cause adrenal burnout and kidney stones. So, oh, can, can't you see how dumb these guys are? Vinny says that don't stay in ketosis too long because it's bad for your health. But ketosis is the best for athletic performance and health. Don't eat too many carbohydrates because it's bad. So load up on fat. But then he says too much fat is bad. So what the fuck are you meant to do? These guys don't even know what to do because they contradict themselves all the time. This is an interview. It's just contradiction. It's a bit like me saying, um, I, I ride a, 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 a Campag. Uh, uh, no, 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 I ride Jurace 9000. Uh, 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 no, I ride uh, Shram Red, Red. So what is it, man? What is it? You know, what do you guys actually do? Whatever it's doing, it's not fucking working because your race results and your health doesn't really speak for it, unfortunately. So, and then Vinny's podcast friend, Anna, she's still chubby despite doing Vinny's starvation plan and wants to be a size 2 but she's very far from that. So Vinny's own assistant is overweight. I mean, my girlfriend, Freely, have a look at this picture. I'm not doing too bad on my advice and my guidance for many years. No starvation necessary. So both contradict themselves by saying, can eat all the fat and protein you want and you will get lean, yet both admit to doing weeks of calorie restriction whilst running on stimulants and appetite suppressant pills, aka the MPX 100 fat blasters, etc. Vinny says hot dogs without the buns because cars make you fat, remember, are better and healthier than organic bananas. Vinny says you're better off eating hot dogs without the bun than organic bananas because bananas are full of fructose and fructose cause obesity. That's why I'm so obese and why I have to run on stimulant pills and do fasting like Vinny and Beanfield have to do because fruit makes you fat. Just like all the fruitarians, all the people out there. You know what I mean? I'm the only one who's doing all the K's in the bike, but how come all the other people follow the same lifestyle but all slim? How come? Because this lifestyle makes you slim. Exercise makes you fit. Diet makes you slim. 100% high carb, low fat. Vegans, raw vegans are slim 100% of the time. Does Dr. Esselstein run marathons? Does Neil Bernard ride 6,000 kilometers in January? No, they don't. Why are they so lean? Look at Neil Bernard, man. Look at his face. He looks like a uh, rider Hejdal. <laughs> the Giro winner. <laughs> This guy can't put out six watts per kilo for half an hour. Seriously. Let's wrap it up. I'm getting too long here. Listen to an interview with Dean Laurie from Hollywood. And Dean says he likes bananas. Vinny said, okay, to put a chunk of banana in your fat shake. Direct quote. Bananas cause obesity. So keep that in mind, Dean, he's, Vinny says. So, I don't know, mate. You know, like these guys, I'm not pissed off, but I'm I'm saddened that they can't see their own delusion. Vinny is a cancer patient, yet claims to be an authority on health. He says, I've followed my diet for the 20, 30 years, or whatever he says, but he just had cancer recently. So, it, you know, I feel sad that these people are so confused, so dumbed down, that they can't even see the obvious. Cars make you fat. Guys, please, go to China and go to Kenya and travel around the rural areas. Okay, why are people so slim but eating so many carbohydrates? Why is that? If carbs are bad for athletic performance, why do the, the Kenyan marathoners eat around 3,500 calories a day with approximately 80 plus percent of those calories come from carbohydrates and 20% of that carbohydrate calories come from refined sugar? Why are they so lean? Why are they so much leaner than all the other athletes doing the same training who eat a bit more fat? Why is that? Why is it a local Kenyan runner who moved to Adelaide, South Australia, used to be really lean, and now he's adopted his Western diet? He's still training a bit, but he's put on like 25 kilos. Why is that? And now why do the Kenyans who come to Australia, who don't run, who stay on the Kenyan corn diet and sugar diet, why do they stay skinny? Is it genetic? <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys are dumb. You guys are silly. You guys are silly. You just, 
I don't, you know what I mean? It's just, wake up. Card the fuck up. Please. Just, I don't know what, like, are you fucking stupid? Are you serious? Bananas cause obesity. Rice makes you fat. Go to China. Go to China. Four times a day, white refined carbohydrates. Skinny as fuck. When they ride their bikes, they're not sitting on five watts per kilo. They're not doing in their time trial aer- aero helmets smashing it out, are they? They're riding these heavy clunkers, just cruising around their mouth closed. I've been to China. Their mouth shut. You know what I mean? It's like they're just walking. They sit down walking. They're not exercising. But they're slim. And then you get those Chinese, they come to Australia, they eat the barbecue and the steak, they poof, blow the fuck out. So it's not about genetics or some nonsense. It's about diet, people. You know, I just don't know what to say anymore. It, it is nuts. It is nuts. Like, today I've done nothing. I've been in this room all day. Friend Bridget gave me a, a, a one kilo bag here of dried fruit, right? This is dried fruits from their Fruitwise Fruit Strap Company. It's a kilo. I've already eaten a pound today just sitting around. Plus other things, other carbohydrate foods. When I can't get enough fruit, I eat in starches or refined sugar to make up my calories. You know, like, how insane is that? The guy who looks like he's just stepped out of a prison camp. <laughs> Bases his diet on fruit, 100% vegan. When he can't get enough fructose, he goes to refined sugar or starches like rice and stuff to get his calories in. And he still looks like this. And my mum's clinically obese. So how does that work? Tortellini says no no sugar, no grains. (laughs) I say focus on fruit, then sugar, and then grains in your diet. Not, Not excluding them, bringing them in. If you want to be lean and healthy and fit long term. But these jokers say exclude grains and sugar and fruits and i'll say bring them in fruits obviously being the best wow question but these jokers say otherwise so who are you going to believe you're going to believe people who are really sick have just come out of cancer or you're going to believe people who are drug-free athletic success i myself had a lot of health conditions i overcome with dietary advice from the experts like mcdougall and graham bernard so my sincere message to you Vinny as a cancer patient is, dude, you gotta look at your diet. You can't be delusional thinking bacon and eggs is healthy for you. You gotta look at the science. You gotta look at the science, bro. You know, here's two books to start with. Check these out. So that is my sincere message to these guys. I might come across a bit brash and rude and that, but I just, I don't know how to get this message through. I don't know what to say. You know, like, all right, end of this one, end of this one. People, I think, get what I'm trying to say. Post your comments and questions down below. We'll see you soon.